Hi, I'm Christine Fisher from the University of Colorado. Uh, we're here to talk to you about the upcoming American Brachytherapy Society meeting. So uh, I'm the chair of the gynecologic session, and I have my co-chair here, Emma Fields. We're going to be talking about some of the exciting highlights that are coming up. So we wanted to start by talking about the plenary session. So we have Dr. Neil Tonk from University of Pennsylvania, and he's going to be talking about uh, how he's incorporating virtual reality into his practice. So you got some um, kind of a, an interesting cardboard apparatus from the American Brachytherapy Society. Neil recorded a great, really simple video that explains how to assemble this. And you've actually got your own um, very straightforward virtual reality headset. Yeah, Neil's done some great work. I was just modeling the uh, eyepiece, um, which you can use to view his video during the presentation. And I know he's worked really hard on that and is gonna be a great speaker in the plenary session. We also have some other really exciting things in our GYN section for ABS. Uh, we have a section on challenges and future directions in endometrial cancer, which is gonna be really practical, really exciting, all the latest cutting edge um, techniques and uh, thoughts on how to approach difficult cases. We've got Lily Lynn from MD Anderson, who's going to talk about how to manage the cuff recurrences that are often incredibly challenging. We've got um, Matthew Harkenreiter um, from Loyola, who's going to talk about the approach to all of our um, medically inoperable uterine cancer patients. And then our very own Christine Fisher from the University of Colorado, um, who's been chairing this committee is going to talk about how biology plays into managing these patients and how that's going to be so important in the future. Okay, so our second gynecologic cancer session is going to be the art of gynecologic brachytherapy. This is always, I think, one of my favorite sessions at American Brachytherapy Society to really see how other institutions and physicians and physicist teams are solving the complex problems that we run into. So our moderator is going to be Tyler Robin, and our first set of speakers is going to be from the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute, so Robert McCormick and Lisa Singer. So they're going to be talking about avenues for progress in the era of MR-based brachytherapy. Uh, we'll then have our co-chair, Emma Fields, and her um, brilliant physicist, uh, Doreen Tudor, who's going to be talking about time to reassess classical dosimetry and look for better calculations. And then we're going to finish with uh, Anna Marie Young from the University of Florida, who will be talking about creative planning and implants with intracavitary brachytherapy. Awesome. So um, our, our third GYN section is really a new section for us. It's really exciting. I think it was a theme among a lot of the abstracts that were submitted that you'll also hear a lot about, um, both in the... Um, presentations in the main session, in the SNAP orals, and also in the poster hall. Uh, but virtual reality as well as 3D printing are hot topics. And we have some experts in those realms for session three. Dr. Fisher, do you want to tell us tell us who's on our, our top lineup there? Absolutely. So we've got our moderator is Scott Glazer. Our first set of speakers are from different institutions, but really converging on how we can use virtual reality to help educate our patients. So we're going to have Dr. Neil Tonk from the University of Pennsylvania and uh, Dr. Doug Holt, who is um, graduating next month. He's a resident at University of Colorado, and both have incorporated virtual reality into their patient care. So they're going to talk about perspectives on using virtual reality to augment the clinic. Our second team, uh, Dr. James Ochino and Elizabeth Kidd, are going to talk about how they've innovated with 3D printing for uh, guide brachytherapy. And just as Dr. Field said, this is such an exciting area in brachytherapy. A lot of institutions are really kind of looking at these two new tools in terms of how to incorporate them. So this session is going to be a lot of fun. Well, we know you come to the American Brachytherapy Society for more than just the GYN section. However, this year, the GYN section is going to be on fire and you won't want to miss it. We are looking forward to seeing everyone at the American Brachytherapy Society meeting and getting to catch up on all these great innovations.